Hi everybody, Reinhard here and welcome to another video! Alright, for today's video I will show you how I propagate my potals, also called Epipranum Aurum. Epipranum Aurum. Something like that. Maybe you already noticed, but my potos is in the background, right here, you can see it. And let me get him in front of the camera first. Alright, I have it right here. I have to watch out for my microphone. So, it's really, really long. I just measured the size, it's about 6 feet tall, uh, that's almost 2 meters. And yeah, it has three branches. Two at the very beginning, those are quite uh, young branches and not so tall yet, but the other one really really long. Alright, let me get it down first. Uh, some of you might have noticed the middle part of the branch is kind of empty, no leaves on it and that's... Uh, yeah, I really regret that. That's my fault. Uh, like, I think eight years ago, it lost some uh, leaves there because I didn't water it enough. And yeah, it's it's a shame. But yeah, yeah, I thought I'd, I'd share that with you because you might wonder why it doesn't have leaves on it. All right, here we have the very end. And I think I will get my cuttings from this side. Let me get a better camera angle and then I'll show you how I cut it. So, here I am behind my desk and with the branch I have in mind to make three cuttings out of it. First of all, I'd like to notice that the potals have those little brown spots on them that are aerial roots. And if you put those in the water, there will grow roots out of it. For every cutting I want two aerial roots in the water. So let's say if this is still the new part, so I don't want to cut it too close to the newest leaf. So let's give it some space to develop. Let's cut it right here. That's about one centimeter or half an inch. Let's cut it like that. Beautiful. That's the first one. For the next one, I'd like to have one leaf for the cutting. That means that I have to cut it behind the third leaf because uh, after I remove those leaves, there will be two aerial roots and that is what I want in the water for them to grow. So let's cut it right there. The last and the third one, as you can see, the, those leaves are pretty stacked here, close on each other. So I'd like to give it a little bit more space over here. So let's say I cut it here behind the fifth leaf, just like that. The best thing you could, uh, can do for the remaining part of your potos is cut it on like the same distance as you did with the cuttings, like half an inch or centimeter above. So you give the potos the opportunity to grow back and they will. The second and the third cutting I made have still this little stem that is sticking out and you want to get rid of it as well. So same as usual, cut it like a little bit above the leaf and then it should be good. We're almost ready. The last thing we need to do is get rid of the last two leaves of every cutting because if you place them with the aerial roots in the water they will rot eventually and that's what we want to prevent. So let's remove those really quick just by pulling them really careful off just like that. The cuttings are ready, ready to put in the water, and that's what I will do next. The last thing I'd like to share with you is the little cardboard that I made for the cuttings to stick them in and then you can kind of see them nice in the fast and I hope you can see the root development over the days. Pre pretty clear and nice. Alright, 
that's it for now. Uh, I'm gonna make the setup for the time lapse and yeah, enjoy. All right, yesterday it was exactly three weeks ago uh, that I put my cuttings into the water and now I will show you the end results. Honestly, I'm pretty proud of what I achieved with my cuttings. For 20 days, I've been taking pictures of the roots developing and it was really fun to go through this process. Overall, I did shoot 669 photos manual I will show the time lapse in the next video. After that time, I will also include that video right above here and in the description box down below. All right, and the end result, I have been waiting literally weeks and here is the end result. So here you have the three cuttings, lots of roots. And also, as you can see on top, new branches have started to grow and Actually, the left and the right cutting have two branches growing. For now, I will go outside and show you the cuttings separate from each other. And after that, I'll show you how I pot them. So here we actually see the original potos. And in the frame right now, you see the two branches that I already uh, showed you in the beginning of the video. This is one and this is the second one, actually. And something out of the ordinary happened, well, especially for my plant. So you have to know this plant is almost 15 years old. And for like 10 years, I haven't even touched it or cut it. And this is the first time in that long of a period. So I was kind of surprised how fast the plant actually reacted. Because as you can see, this branch right here, it grew an entire new leaf, as you can see, and quite a big beautiful leaf as well plus even a second one as you can see right here and yeah that's just insane the other branch as well grew an entire new leaf so as you can see this one is still a little bit curved so really really new so that is what i'd like to show you about the two old new branches and i also like to show you the end of the very long branch uh, that used to be like two meters long this is actually the part where I cut it like three weeks ago and as you can see it already developed a new branch that is growing pretty fast I gotta say and yes I'm really happy with that as well so I can put it back and it can grow some beautiful new leaves. Here you see the first cutting actually. This cutting was on the very end of my potos when I cut it. As you can see it grew one root out of it and that's okay I mean that's a start and over the weeks it actually kept developing I mean slowly but surely this leaf started to turn a little bit if you watch really closely you actually can see the very next leaf coming through so that's right here I hope you can see it but it, it's it's really nice to see and I think this one didn't grow as good as the other two I had and I'll show you next but yeah, overall, I'm pretty satisfied with this one. And here you see the second cutting that I took of my potos. And as you can see, it grew two roots. And these roots are way bigger than the previous cutting that I showed you. This one actually grew two new branches. 
So out of these two branches, he will grow new leaves. Yeah, this second cutting did really, really well. And here we have the final one. And man, oh man, just look at this one. This, this one actually grew three roots. Here's the first one, the second one right here. And if you look really closely, the third one is coming out of here and I'll show that in a minute. This cutting actually grew two branches as well where the leaves will continue to grow. And yes, I'm really excited to show this one as well. And now I'll zoom in just a little bit so you can see it a little bit more detailed. So here you see all the three of them laying next to each other. And the next thing that I'll be doing is pot them in the pot that I selected. And that's the final thing that I will show you. So here you see the pot that I selected for my potos to continue their growth in. The first thing that I'll be putting in there is some hydro granules. And after that, I'll add the potting soil. That's actually gonna be it for this video. Hopefully you did enjoy. I put a lot of effort in it. So if you liked the video, make sure to leave a like and also consider subscribing. Until then, see you next time. Bye bye.